Hello everyone, my name is Michael SK and welcome back to Nekopara Volume 1. So, last time, we had, um, we had an interesting time, I guess you could say. Uh, Chocola went into heat, as they call it with cats. Um, which from what my friend told me is when, uh, a cat, uh, it's just, they gotta fuck, so... If you can just piece that to this, then yeah, that's <laughs> and that's what happened last time. So, I really don't know what's supposed to happen here. I feel like it's more of an aftermath to see what happens with them, you know, socially or in terms of their relationship. So, that's got to be interesting. We'll jump in here. We are in the sixth chapter, so we have three more to do. <laughs> I have a feeling that things are kind of like going to go back to normal, you know? Like, I think things are okay now, like it's out of her system. If that even makes sense in this in, in this sort of way, in this situation, I don't know. Roger, give me a sec. Let's see, two shortcakes, two cheesecakes, two fruit tarts. <clears throat> One gat to yo, one milli fuel for whatever the fuck is all that. Yep, it's the same as the sales invoice. Okay, okay. Okay then. Be careful of cars and people and come back safe and sound. Uh, what? Huh? Forgot what? There's nothing else. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, my God. Chocolate. Cute. Look, we can't be doing that in the bakery. Cat Panion, all right. Uh, Chocola. I like how the sound plays before the actual like transition out. So I guess uh, the two of them are you know all good. I guess that shit's out of her system, and now they're even closer than before, which is to be expected. But there's like no awkwardness. All is well. That ends well? <laughs> is it actually called a cat panion? Are you fucking serious? Uh, uh, no. Well, you could say she was, so, um, yes. <laughs> God damn these female customers. Well, uh,. I'm sorry, could we please, or could we stop with this, please? That's so goddamn weird, though. I brought this up last time, and I I can't remember who commented this, and with, with what I'm about to bring this up, so... Or what I'm about to bring up. Uh, I apologize. We're not remembering who the commenter was, but I was talking about, you know, how it's really weird for people to have uh, their partners as the, you know, the cat girls, and I'm really unsure about the aging and all that, and if it actually is related to the actual, you know, you know, cat's, you know, lifespan, then you wouldn't really get to be with the person, cat, whatever the hell, for too long. I said around 12 years, but I was way off. Cats can actually live way longer because someone commented saying that their cat lived to about 20. So I believe it because I know dogs can live up past around 15. I think 15-ish is sort of the average. And maybe it, that's the same for cats. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? I'm sorry. I'm not that good with these types of conversations. So I'd appreciate it if... Who? <laughs> Man, this is how we reel in the female customers. 
I'm sorry, but I'm in the middle of work. <clears throat> ah, it is vanilla. I have a feeling, and it's only a feeling, and I'm, I, 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 this is also a prediction. <laughs> Vanilla is going to eventually go into heat. She was involved in all of that crazy shit that went down. Which was really, really weird. So, maybe it's her turn? Oh, man. It's gonna be crazy for sure. Crazy year for sure. Ugh, finally left. We had a brief pause after those guests left. I'm not very good at talking about my romantic affairs like that. After all, since I was young, the only thing I've done... Or the, yeah, the only thing I've done has been making Japanese sweets. I was exhausted from trying to figure out how to respond to them. Yeah, got it, thanks. What are you so angry about, Vanilla? Hmm. I don't know why, so that's why I'm asking. Ah, are you hungry or something? If you are, you can have a slice of cake. Damn, dude. And just why are you bringing up Chocola? She doesn't really get upset often, aside from her desperately yelling I'm hungry sometimes. What? Hey, that's a false accusation. Just when was I ogling them? Oh, great. Now Vanilla's gonna be extremely protective for Chocola. A horny pastry puffer. Wow, I'm just learning new phrases every day. Vanilla folded her arms and snorted. A horny pastry puffer, she says. <laughs> oh my god. There was an unpleasant sound of those words. Well, duh! I got it, I got it. I'm not flirting, so it's okay. Actually, I'm really not very good at stuff like that. It's just a misunderstanding. Don't be mad. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I really do feel like we are being falsely accused and kind of just thrown against a very, very durable brick wall. Isn't hmm? An angry sound, though? It was a false accusation to say I was fooling around with Chocola. Hmm. Once I put everything Vanilla is saying together, it sure seems like... You're jealous, huh? Sorry, I'll be more careful next time. It's really hard to tell if she's actually telling the truth in this situation, because... You know, if we could point out, okay, you're jealous, and then they pull the sun today shit, saying, no, I, I'm not jealous, then, 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 yeah, you know. But, in this case, it sounds like she's being sincere. I got it, I got it. I'm sorry. I'll act with more restraint. I got it, okay? There, there. Vanilla puffed out her cheeks as I patted her on the head. Even Vanilla gets jealous, huh? I thought she was more carefree than this, though. I guess it's to be expected, since despite all being always together, Chocola hasn't been paying much attention to her recently. I need to be more careful as their owner. Come to think of it... Oh, we're just gonna straight up ask. Are you in heat yet, Vanilla? Damn, dude. No, no. It's not what I mean. I'm just concerned about your physical health, okay? Oh no. Well, I guess you're doing fine then. I really was honestly worried though. Vanilla left 
Vanilla leveled a chilly glare at me while I was thinking that. Things are about to get crazy. I don't know when. But... What the fuck? That is... That phrase, dude. Horny pastry puffer. I'll have to remember that. I probably won't, but... I'll try. Hey, Chocola. Mind watching the store for a bit? Vanilla, I need your help in the kitchen. Hmm. What the fuck? So what kind of hunch is that? It seemed that she was still holding a grudge. It looked like she told Chocola something earlier, too. In any case, I needed to lighten things up. I thought I'd start to slowly teach you how to make a cake. Yep. Life is basically an RPG. I really don't know why she has to come to conclusions like those, but... Can you stop it with that nonsense? As always, she was quite the actress. There wasn't really a reason for her to regret anything, though. Well, in all seriousness, I have no qualms with Chocola being a poster cat girl, but I don't think making cakes would suit her. <laughs> Vanilla was the right cat girl for the job. It'd be great if she's interested, but it'll be fine even if she messes up. So, well, that's how it is. I'll start by teaching you how to make some simple dough, okay? Determination. Hell yeah. Uh. So wait. You know what? I'm not. I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna question that. It seems like she's more into it than I thought she'd be. We don't have that kind of customization available. Uh, we don't make them one at a time, so it wouldn't work out. Enough about customizations. First, the basics. While she gave a half-hearted response, she measured out the ingredients very carefully according to the recipe. She was quick to learn the names of the kitchen tools and how to use them, and remember what I taught her without uttering a single complaint. You really take on things quickly, Vanilla. Honestly, you're a lot more skilled with your paws than I thought. She puffed out her non-existent chest proudly. The chest on that uniform might be too high a level for Vanilla. Well, she picked it out herself. So, I guess she didn't mind too much. Maybe she was just trying to show off her slightly lacking chest. Rip. That trivial thought crossed my mind for a brief moment. Is that so? First time I've heard that. I mean... I, I, I guess that's a valid point. Somewhat. Now that you mention it, you're right. It was more like neither of us were the type to come up with snappy retorts. Vanilla also wasn't the type to talk about herself much either. I realized that I hadn't heard much about her. She smiled with her usual tone of voice. If that's what makes Vanilla most comfortable, then I'm fine with that. That was without a doubt. It was without a doubt, yet. Do you dislike it when I bother you, Vanilla? She tilted her head to the side and blinked a few times in confusion. Furrowing her brow, she put a hand to her chin as she thought. She, er, then she hid her palm with her fist and looked over at me. What the fuck? How does that have anything to do with the question? 
you really need to quit it with these jokes of yours. I lightly bopped Vanilla on the head. She really can't handle serious topics, can she? I looked directly at Vanilla and returned to the topic at hand. What a zoom in. I want to be closer to you, Vanilla. I like Vanilla as a character, honestly. Like, she is definitely very interesting because we really don't know much about her. She's so stiff. Like, there's room for improvement, sort of. It's, it's a more room for improvement sort of deal, which makes it very interesting. At least in my opinion. So, I think it'd be interesting to see the main character, because I can never remember his name, Kasho or whatever the hell, and Vanilla, if the two of them were to get closer, then, shit, things would be interesting for sure. More interesting than they are now. Not in a literal sense. What I mean is that I want to know more about you and get along with you better. Because I think the deal is, is that the distance, I, I really don't know why there's a little bit of a distance uh, compared to Chocola and the main character, but it's like an awkward distance. It's, it's, it's sort of a weird relationship from what it seems in an outside perspective, such as mine, uh, with the main character in Vanilla. So I think it would be for the best if they got closer somehow. This time I gently patted Vanilla on the head. As usual, she had a baffled expression on her face as she looked up at me. I'm fine with the distance between us right now, but I want to be a better owner, you know? That's why. I want to know more about you. I want to understand you better, Vanilla. You're one of my precious cat girls after all, Vanilla. Even with what happened with Chocola, I was concerned about Vanilla. Vanilla was right. I didn't know much about her at all. That's exactly why I wanted to know more. The three of us will be together from now on, after all. <laughs> That's ironic. She is serious herself. So Vanilla could be cute at times, too. She pouted as her cheeks became rosy. Vanilla mumbled as she looked up at me. Perhaps she really does have a really low tolerance for serious matters. Well, I know it's a bit out of character for me, but... I wanted to get that out in the open. At the very least, I wanted to tell you how I feel. As a, an unbenefiting... Unbefitting, I mean. <laughs> Rye's smile came across my face. I faced Vanilla and spoke my true feelings. What? I told you, that's not it. Hmm... She was absolutely adorable. That true smile that you can barely see, this level of honesty she normally didn't show, was making my heart skip a beat. No, 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 no. I'm having a serious discussion here. This isn't the time for me to be thinking about how cute Vanilla was. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. Don't. Don't do this to me right now, game. No, this is how it started last time. Huh? What is it, Vanilla? Oh, no. Uh, uh, Vanilla? This is pretty much the same shit as last time. Hey, Earth to Vanilla. Uh, you're really close. I say close, but it was more like she was stuck on to me. Vanilla buried her face in my chest and continued to sniff. <sighs> this is the same deal. <laughs> this has happened really fast. Yikes. 
She looked up and pushed her face against my neck. I could feel her body and lips pressed against me. As vanilla's sweet smell and softness flow throughout my entire body. Ugh. Wait, vanilla! <laughs> And then we get some sort of weird excuse. Huh? Did you say Fleming response? <laughs> well, let's just leave it at Fleming response then. This is. Very similar to last time. Oh my god. Uh, sure. I left it at that. Our, our main character here can't be that oblivious. Come on. Come on, he has to know. If he doesn't, I'm gonna be quite upset. He should have the experience. Jesus Christ. She is a very affectionate character. It's weirder now than it was before. Yeah, I told you, not during work. Yeah, isn't it like 20 o'clock, like you said on the sign? Alright, alright, just a bit, okay? Again, the, the noise plays before the animation. It's a little weird. <sighs> Sheesh, what a handful. Hmm? What is it, Vanilla? Ah, I see she's acting like a computer now. I can clearly sense the spite in that evaluation. You were watching the whole time, weren't you? I wasn't saying you were slacking off or anything. Well, now you can definitely tell there's jealousy. Maybe I was an idiot earlier and just didn't notice it, but... Definitely some jealousy there. No, I mean... What the fuck? Never mind. It was obvious that she was staring at me the whole time. Was this some sort of new rebellious phase of hers? I'm not sure cat girls even have rebellious phases, though. Anyways, the total sales for today is... Vanilla headed towards the register, paying me no heed. Oh no, not again. She's gonna smell us. Let's wait for it. Oh. Oh. Oh! Hmm? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Oh my god. That's so damn weird, just hearing that breathing. Uh, vanilla? Well, she snapped out of that one fast. Wait, wait, wait. You're the one who's pressed against me. Vanilla tilted her head with a perplexed look on her face. I've seen this reaction before. It seems similar to something that had just happened yesterday. Vanilla, could it be that you're... <gasps> Chocola is taking it out right now. This was how Chocola behaved yesterday. Could it be... Vanilla is in heat? Wow, we're really fast on that one. Took us an entire day to figure that one out. The two of them are 
were twins. It wouldn't be strange if they were going through the same stage. It isn't at the same level as Chocola was yesterday, though. In any case, I'll just observe what she does a bit longer. Oh boy. Alright, you did well. Okay, the sound matched up with that one. Chocola is as energetic as ever. That's definitely true. Um, are you alright, Vanilla? Well, like, how are you feeling? I see. Then that's good. Well, she seemed the same as usual. Chocola would get visibly dizzy when she was in heat. So I guess Vanilla wasn't in heat after all. I'll be done cleaning up in the kitchen shortly. Vanilla, go and help Chocola. Uh, I think that's the wrong way. Huh? Vanilla? Man, that, that really escalated. Uh-huh. Hey, Vanilla? She came up and embraced me from the front, and rubbed her cheek up against mine, speaking in a sweet voice. Hey, Vanilla, calm down, okay? This shit again? No, 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 enough of that. No, when you were studying for the bell exam, I saw an actual Fleming face. Besides, you were the one who said that it wasn't good for your health to hold your urges in while in heat. It's not something to be embarrassed about. I argued with Vanilla. Was being in heat something to be embarrassed about? Yes, having urges to fuck. That's that's definitely something not to be embarrassed about. Come on. We all go through those teenage stages where we're all hitting the puberty and things are weird. I didn't think cat girls felt shame, though. Oh, shit. Ah, Chocola. What? Uh... And just like that, we're done playing. Alright. I'm so tired. As you guys can see by the time... Uh, that's actually incorrect. It's it's not 3.44. It's actually 2.45. Um, so it's off by a minute. And also off by an hour. Which is kind of weird. The date's right. Um, but that's that's what we're gonna stop playing for this one. I'm uh I'm tired. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I guess I'll see you guys in the lovely shit that's about to go down in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs>